the Federal Accounts Allocation Committee, FAC, distributed a total of 680.783 billion naira to the three tiers of government as federation allocation for the month of May 2022. This is the latest distribution in what is a monthly ritual. But for some reasons, However, uh, analysts have consistently advice, warned that the over-dependence of state of governments state on statutory allocations to run the affairs is detrimental to the well-being of its people. Without the federal allocation coming from the federal capital, if states have to rely on their you know, IGR solely, whether IGR plus capital receipts and uh, um, whatever it is, the income that they get, only two states would have paid salaries and pensions conveniently and then still have something left for capital expenses. States are therefore challenged to generate more income by exploring their revenue sources. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Lagos, Abuja and Ogun states led the list of states in Nigeria with the highest internally generated revenue per population in the first half of 2021. The 36 states of the federation, including the FCT, recorded a sum of 849.12 billion naira as internally generated revenue between January and June 2021. I think something is a major gap, which is knowledge, knowing what to do, knowing where the money lies. Withholding tax alone, most bank headquarters take their withholding tax to Lagos. The question is, if Fixed deposit was done in, in a given state. Why should the remittance go to Lagos State? Those money should go to the state. The Ninth Assembly is in the process of amending the 1999 Constitution, and one of the focuses of the exercise is decentralizing powers from the executive to the other federating units. The Constitution Amendment Bills are presently before the State Houses of Assembly for voting and passage, and it is anticipated that the states would vote in favor of these bills, which would devolve powers, and in the process provide states with more opportunity to generate revenue. However, beyond the issues of internal generation of revenue, there is also a challenge of lack of transparency in public finance management practices at the state levels. A civic organization, Paradigm Leadership Support Initiative, PLSI, put together a subnational audit efficacy index to assess the level of transparency and accountability in the management and utilization of public funds in all 36 states of the Federation. That the Executive Director, PLSI, uh, says the report in, highlights uh, gaps in public sector audit mechanisms across funding. different states of the Federation. Uh, and, and I would say that, for instance, in the 2020 financial year, so you have about 30 states that could not account for 54 billion, there about, 54 billion. So, this issue about accountability and ensuring that revenues that are cruised to states, whether through FAC or IGR, are judiciously put to use, uh, is one issue that we need to address. And one way to address it is to ensure that we uh, implement, uh, you know, effectively the audit laws that have been passed in these states. Financial analysts maintain that increasing internally generated revenue by states is the way to go. But they warn that this will not amount to much if there persist faulty public finance management practices in states. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.